Hey guys, this is Daniel at Tom Bush Mini. Just wanted to show you a couple of tips and tricks on your Mini Cooper that you may or may not be aware of. One of the first things a lot of Mini Cooper owners don't know is that you can actually roll down the windows just by using the key fob. So you press the unlock button once, press it a second time, and this time hold down on the key. And that's gonna roll the windows down and open your sunroof. This can also work on convertibles for the sunroof mode and lowering the top. Okay, we're inside the Mini now. A lot of Mini owners don't know that if the battery on your key fob gets low, you can still start the car, and I'm gonna show you how. So on the opposite side of the steering column here, you got a nice symbol showing a key. You hold your key fob up to the symbol here, press in on the brake pedal, tap the start, like you normally would, and it should fire it right up. Okay, the next question we get pretty frequently is how do I pair the Bluetooth on my phone? So you go down here, hit the COM button, then you can go to manage mobile devices, connect the new device, make sure that your phone is in Bluetooth pairing mode, it will show the Apple CarPlay as an option if your vehicle is equipped with the navigation feature. So you'd include that there, connect to Apple CarPlay and confirm. And if your phone is in pairing mode, you've got your Bluetooth and everything on, it's gonna come up with this symbol right here on your phone. Then you just pair that, and now your Bluetooth is paired with the car and you're ready to motor. With the hot and cold temperature changes that we get a lot, tire pressure monitor resets are one of the top questions we get all the time. How do I reset the tire pressure monitor on my Mini? So you just go to the menu, select My Mini, go to Vehicle Status, and then after you've put the recommended PSI in your tires, you just go here to the tire settings, and you go to Perform Reset. It does need to be driven to reset, as you can see here, and then it's going to measure with the tire pressure monitors in the tires, and it's going to let you know what PSI is in there for you. So that is how you reset your tire pressure monitor. Okay, so believe it or not, when Mini switched to this dual clutch and the automatic transmission, this shifter head did change, and it looks a little bit confusing, especially if it's your first time in the car, and let's say you're just looking at it from this angle instead of from the side. But you'll notice from the side here, this actually says unlock. So if you're trying to put it into drive, you have to have your foot on the brake, press the unlock button in with your thumb here, and pull back to put it in drive, neutral, or reverse. Then if you wanna put it in park, all you do is press that P button. Okay guys, another cool feature about the minis is the ambient lighting, especially on this instrument cluster here, because this can be controlled independently from everything else, doesn't really tie in to all the ambient lights like the rest of the car. They can all be the same color, but this is the one you can basically enjoy even during the daytime. So how can you change that or turn it off if you want to, or just change the color in general. So you want to go to My Mini, System Settings, Displays, and Center Instrument. Once you're in there, the event display, you can change the heartbeat, which is actually shown right here. Whenever you get into the car, it's going to have a red light right there. It's going to respond to your navigation, parking assistant, telephone, Bluetooth, your climate control, and your tone. It kind of gives you a preview of the color that you're gonna to get to as you change what you're selecting here. So to kind of show you how that works, let's say we're changing the temperature. Right now I'm changing the speed of the fan, and you can see that light changing with the intensity. If I change the temperature, it's gonna adjust what lights are shown again, showing I'm making it hotter, or now I'm making it colder. That will change too with your Bluetooth. It'll actually turn to a blue color here. You'll notice the parking assistant has yellow. Climate control, which I just showed for you guys, and also tone. So if you're turning on the radio, you'll notice that responds as well.
So let's say that you don't want the light on, the center instrument right here. You just go into center instrument, settings, basic display. See ambient lighting is selected here. Just go up to none and that's going to shut it off completely for you. The other great thing about minis is it does come standard with the automatic headlights and windshield wipers. So to engage those, you just come over here, press up. See that green light for auto is on. So now they're engaged. And if it senses any rain, they're gonna start automatically. For the driving lights here, you'll notice it's switched over all the way to where this A is. And that's where you want it if you want the automatic lights on. And then you also have your fog lights, which are now built into the new headlamps, just by pressing that button here. And how do you know those are on? This little light right here. Another cool setting you get is under displays, you can go to color scheme. I'm gonna back up here a little bit so you can see what it actually does. This shows, depending on driving mode, when I select sport, you're gonna notice this instrument cluster is actually going to respond as well now. And you also have the option of lounge.